A good news about enrollment in U.S. Catholic schools. The number of students rose by 62,000 during the school year, which ended last June. That is up 3.8 percent from the year before. It is the first increase in two decades and the largest in 50 years. Catholic school commitment to coronavirus safety is considered one of the most important factors. Pope Francis is said to travel to Florence, Italy later this month. The Holy Father will meet bishops and government officials from that region. They will discuss issues important to the cities and towns near the Mediterranean Sea, including migration. Florence is roughly 170 miles north of Rome. Pope Francis last visited there seven years ago. EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn joins us now from Florence. Colin, great to see you. Um, I know that you've been there for a few days now with the crew. Can you set the scene for us and also the significance of where you are? Well, good evening, Tracy, from a very wet Florence. I'm standing here in Piazza della Signoria, the piazza in front of Palazzo Vecchio, or in English, translated, Old Palace. It's right in the heart of Florence, and inside you'll find an incredible room called Salon de Cinquecento, or the Hall of 500. Now, this is where the 500 members of the Council of the Florentine Republic would meet and make decisions at the end of the 15th century. Tracy, it's a stunning room, and its beauty is hard to put into words, but I know that you can see images of it now on your screen. And it's in this room, under the priceless works of art by Michelangelo and da Vinci, that Pope Francis will be meeting bishops and mayors from across the Mediterranean region when he visits here later this month. And Colin, what is the purpose uh, of the Pope's trip and do you know what the meetings will be about? Well, the Pope will be here in the Italian city of Florence on Sunday the 27th for a number of meetings and appointments with high-ranking officials. Participants will come from 20 countries with at least 70 bishops and 60 mayors expected to attend. And also, of course, as is the style of Pope Francis, it is expected that he will be meeting refugees and their families to hear their stories and show his and the church's closeness to them. The Mediterranean Sea has been given names like the liquid graveyard or the largest graveyard in Europe as thousands of migrants have drowned making treacherous journeys in overcrowded boats in the hope of a better life here in Europe. In fact, Tracy, it is estimated that 23,000 people have lost their lives since 2014. And Pope Francis himself has called the Mediterranean Mar Mortum, which means the sea of death. So he will be asking those officials present what more can be done by the church, by local authorities, by the states, and by ordinary citizens to save people from dying. And Colin, before I let you go, I understand that Pope Francis held uh, similar meetings last year where he addressed some of the same issues. What more can you tell us about that? That's right, Tracy. Pope Francis met with Italian bishops and bishops from the Mediterranean region last year in the city of Barri in the south of Italy. And he spoke then about peaceful coexistence between people from different backgrounds, religions, ethnicities. So this meeting here in Florence is very much seen as a continuation of that conversation. And it could be said, Tracy, that maybe the reason the Pope is paying so much attention to this issue is that one of the great challenges for Pope Francis will be getting all the Mediterranean churches to work together in full cooperation, despite the differences they may have, historical disputes and rifts and so on. Here in Florence, Pope Francis will be urging everyone gathered to put those differences aside and act swiftly together to help save lives and help migrants. Tracy? All right, Colin, thank you so much. In a rainy but still beautiful Florence, Italy, thank you for your report. Good evening, Tracy. Thank you.